Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. We're now getting a much clearer picture of how that March Madness bubble here in Indianapolis potentially would work. The NCAA now is proposing bringing all the teams to Indianapolis for the big tournament. And this whole idea, I mean, is really bringing optimism, as our Mary Mills explains, to struggling hotels and businesses. Downtown restaurants and hotels devastated by the pandemic thrilled at the prospect of a March Madness like never before. It's exciting news for the city of Indianapolis. Lucas Oil Stadium. With Indy hosting not just the Final Four, but the entire tournament. All 67 games in a so-called bubble or controlled environment, much like the NBA. And even with limited or no fans, places like Harry and Izzy's should still see a bump in business from all the people coming to help put on the tournament. It's a huge win for the city. It's a huge win for the employees. It's a huge win for everyone just to have this opportunity and be a part of this huge major NCAA event. Lucas Oil Stadium, Hinkle Fieldhouse, and the Convention Center are among potential venues. The NCAA shared an interview on Twitter talking about a move in the works for months. Condensing this to one geographic area that we can do it in a much more safe and responsible way is where we need to be. We're told there was no bid process, no time to do so. Based here, the NCAA knows the key players and knows Indy can host big events like the Super Bowl. In fact, Lucas Oil Stadium was designed not just for football, but Final Fours. Also important, the connectivity. Several hotels are connected to what could be practice and game sites, including the convention center. While details are still being finalized, the NCAA says it was important to get the word out. That every team knows that there's going to be March Madness in 2021. While letting the other tournament sites know they won't be hosting any games.